So you don't know what you're doing And the walls are closing in Just remember where we're going And remember where we've been Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Arlene Sanchez. Today's video is the last video in the Make It Up Challenge. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I've done three other videos. There are three other girls competing in this challenge on Awesomeness TV's YouTube channel. You guys, I am in last place. <laughs> I'm in last place. Every girl in the competition is so incredibly talented, which is why I knew this was gonna be very difficult to win. I know I'm no pro. I'm just having fun with it, so yeah, let's go ahead and start. Here is the mystery box I speak of. What do we got? We got the pink tissue like normal. Here we have it guys, the make it up box. The final challenge. All right, I see a little card that says Taurus. I am a Taurus. Oh my gosh. Okay, the box says out of this world for the final challenge. We're taking you far into another galaxy from shooting stars to the rings of Saturn and creatures of other life forms, the rules. You must create an out of this world look based on whatever inspires you from beyond planet Earth. Some element of your zodiac sign must inform or inspire your final look. Get your fans involved. You must pull your followers on two of the three options below and elements of your look must represent their choices. Oh my gosh. Ooh, you guys, you guys, you guys know how much I love glitter. So I love that there's four glitters in here. Some tattoo stamps. This one has a little Taurus on it. No way. It's a little stamp with a Taurus. Okay, this is freaking adorable. Oh my gosh, I can like, oh. <laughs> okay, I didn't know it had ink. For some reason I thought it was just like a little pad. I thought you like stuck it into whatever color you want. I'm gonna take these off, but I just wanna see how it looks. Oh, okay, for the Taurus, it says my element is the earth. Colors are green and pink. Best Tauruses are the best. We are stubborn. That's like the one thing. Let's take these off. Oh, dang. Guys, seriously, this is not coming off. So before I start, I am going to pull on my Instagram and ask planets or galaxy, sun or moon. Okay, I primed my eyes. I'm gonna do my little tape trick again so I can have like a sharp line. Since the Taurus color is green, I'm gonna do like greens and like a foresty green and yellow. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this super light, light green, just to put at the very top and then start, oh, start transitioning and just see how I like it. Okay, I have a little color down. I'm gonna go into this more kind of truer turquoisey green here. Oh yeah. I'm gonna bring this up pretty high because I do want it to just peek through since like I said, I wanna do more of like a foresty, darker green. I'm definitely trying something new. I don't think I've ever done like a green look. Okay, I have an idea of where I'm going with this. So I'm gonna take this super dark brown here and basically kind of smoke it out a little bit lower um, cause I still want that green to peek through, but I do want it to be a lot darker. And I am choosing brown here cause the judges did say that I was kind of all over the place with my colors last week, which was true. They were so <laughs> right. Everything they said, they're always so nice about it. Um, they're like, they know that they have to like critique us and like tell us what to improve on. So they were super sweet about it. Um, and yeah, I totally agree with them. My colors were definitely all over the place. So I'm keeping like earthy tones, like greens and browns, kind of like dirt and stuff like that, but then it's gonna be hard because I just looked on Instagram, you guys are voting for Galaxy and I think Moon is winning. So instead of obviously using like the typical blues and purples and things like that, I feel like I'm just gonna have to do like stars and things like that, that kind of reminds me of a Galaxy. Um, and then the Moon, I'm not sure, I feel like maybe these colors incorporate with the Moon or maybe I'll have to add like little Moon or something. For now. I'm sticking to my zodiac sun, which is the greens and the earth colors. Oh, I'm so stuck. Okay, so I know I wanna do a cut crease, but I don't know if I wanna do like half, like a gold and then half green. My heart is pounding. I wish you guys can like hear it right now. So I'm gonna carve out a pretty sharp line and bring it all the way out to the tape. Just using concealer. Don't mind me, I'll be super focused here. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. 
Okay, now that I have that carved out, I'm gonna take my glitter glue. I'm gonna start with the inner half because I know that I for sure wanna do the gold. I don't know if I for sure wanna do the green on the outer part. So I'll start with the first half and then see how I'm feeling. Okay, taking the gold glitter that was in the box, I'm going to pack that on. I am liking this. One thing I'm realizing is that I want this cut crease to actually come a little bit higher. Is this not like a total Arlene look? I feel like 100% is. There is no holding me back with this. I, I love gold glitter. Okay, this might actually work. I'm looking at it and it looks like there's some gold reflex in this like turquoisey green color. Turquoisey green color, is that a word? <laughs> my heart is telling me to do it. I'm trying to like go way out of my comfort zone, do a look that's out of this world like the rules say, then you know, I gotta do something different. I gotta go with this green turquoise color. I'm going to kind of just blend the two right there so it doesn't look like just like a stark line. I think I like it. It's definitely making the look more out of this world, more kind of galactic and like just different, not just a beautiful cut gold crease, you know? Okay, how are we feeling about this? Do we like? Do we not like? Is it weird? Is it cool? I feel like it's looking very Taurusy, very Taurusy, very earthy. I think it looks cool. I dig it. I am so digging it, you guys. So I'm just taking this little white like ink liner stuff and I'm going to try to do little stars with this. I'm going to make sure the center is a little bit fatter. It doesn't all have to be like perfect little stars. I do want to do kind of just like, what would these little bee things like a shooting star, little meteors almost like. I can't talk while I do this. I really got to concentrate. Whew. I can breathe again. I'm going to do black liner just to make my eyes pop. Concentration is real. Okay, I literally stopped breathing for a second, so <laughs> I'm gonna do my face, I'm gonna come back, I'm not done at all. You guys, here's the most satisfying part. Oh, oh my gosh. It's just the easiest thing to add some tape, especially if you're no pro like me. Face makeup is on, you guys don't have to see my acne scars no more. Okay, back to the eyes, I am gonna take a green eyeliner and Fill in my waterline. I am gonna drag this down. I'm gonna smudge it out with this glittery green. I'm gonna add mascara in fall season. I'll be back again. We are coming alive. The lashes are on and I'm finally going into the palette that was sent to me. I'm gonna go into this green color. Oh yeah, okay, this is definitely looking Galaxy. I did want it to look kind of dark so that I add the white stars and they stand out. So, and I feel like Galaxy, Earth, Dirt, that sort of thing. And I'm using my finger to get like a pretty good true pigment. To make the green pop, I am going to go into this green that I put in my, oh yeah, that I put in my waterline. Okay, with this gold liner, I'm going to do a circle and then two little horns, which is basically the Taurus symbol. I'm gonna go and fill my brows how I normally would, but then I am gonna add some green to them also. Brows are on. I do just wanna add a green tint. Spoolie them out. Back to my face, I'm gonna add more stars and kind of just little dashes as if it's like a shooting star. I'm also gonna add a little moon since people did choose moon. Just like a little half crescent. It's my little moon. Again, you guys, I have to focus so I can't really talk much when I'm doing this. You guys, my camera died, so while I charged it, I did some little space buns to get into the theme. Um, and now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my lips where I left off right when it died. So I'm taking the green here, the same one that I had used all over my face. And that's what I'm gonna fill my lips in with. I'm literally looking like I belong in the galaxy. You guys, I had to come downstairs with my phone. I feel like the light is picking it up so much better down here. 
this is completely unfiltered like i've added absolutely nothing to it and now you can really get like a good grasp of all the colors i am living for this i love it <laughs> i actually really like the way it turned out like i can't believe i was able to do all this i guess this is what happens when you step out of your comfort zone do something totally fun and different and just yeah like i said just do something so different okay so that's gonna complete this look hopefully you guys enjoyed it i can't believe it was the freaking final look the final challenge i hope i somewhat redeem myself i have to say this is probably my favorite look actually like i am totally digging living for it i feel like it goes with the whole theme goes with the tourist goes with everything like i am so into it leave your comments down below let me know what you guys think of this look which look was your favorite of all of these challenges let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. That's it. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.